Hey, what is up, guys? We are so excited that you have joined us uh, on Wednesday night, and uh, and we're excited that you join us online. So, um, man, we have uh, uh, just a few. We've got three uh, values, three things that we uh, want uh, to value this summer. And so we just want to take a second uh, at the start of our service uh, to, to point those things out. And the first one is uh, that we want to connect with one another. We know that connection is so important. And, uh, and so we, we want to make sure that we connect with one another this summer. Uh, on Wednesday nights, we want to make sure that you get uh, a chance to connect with, uh, connect with friends, connect with small group, connect with leaders. Um, on Wednesday nights, uh, man, if, if, you, uh, if, if your parents are okay with it and you can invite some friends over or go to a friend's house and, and watch service together, that's awesome. If not, man, that's totally okay. Join us in the chat. Uh, get some friends on FaceTime or on Zoom or something like that. Um, just because uh, our small group are, are taking a break for junior high and high school doesn't mean we can't connect with one another. So get some friends. If you don't know where, uh, man, how to connect, let us know, and we would love to help you do that. We're going to be in the chat together, and so connect with us there. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be good. And one of the one of the cool things is we're doing this together. Uh, junior high, high school, and college are all going to be gathering together on Wednesday nights. Um, to grow and uh, and so uh, man, we're going to connect in a lot of different ways and so uh, if you want to know about how your your specific ministry is going to connect man, you got to get got to get on Instagram or get on uh, some of these text reminders uh, you want to make sure that you're following up uh, with, with Colin and with Emma and with me uh, about man, what's going on in junior high high school and in college uh, because not only are we, we trying to connect we're also trying to grow together and, uh, and, and we want to grow in our faith, man, uh, always, because God is so much for us. And so there's some incredible things coming up. Wednesday night's going to be a time of fun, but also of growing. And, uh, um, and also, man, you got to keep your eye out for this thing that's coming in July called Rooted. Uh, we're so excited about this opportunity. And, and it's going to be available to junior high through college. Uh, and God's going to do incredible things. And so we want you to keep your eye out. Uh, I know that whoever signs up to be a part of this, it is going to grow. And so I said, don't miss out on that. Just a, just a little uh, heads up for you. Yeah. And lastly, we are committed to having fun this summer. It's going to be parties and celebrations. Woo! We <laughs> yeah. always like the parties. Oh, we love to party. Yep, that's Colin's favorite word. It is. Parties. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. Let's have fun this summer together. Stay tuned for some fun events that we're going to be planning over summer, whether that's in person or virtually. It's still going to be guaranteed to be fun. It's super cool. So, yeah, let's have fun. And also, to kick off fun, let's do a question of the week. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. When you were little, where was your favorite place to hide when you played hide and seek? Mm -hmm. Personally, I like to like move the pots and pans. Uh, out of the uh, the spot under the stove, and I would hide it under the stove and scout it. Uh, nobody ever found me. And sometimes I would like pull the, the pots and pans in front of me. Mm, nice. uh, and, uh, nice. It was awesome. So, nice. Yeah, I, we had some like uh, really narrow hallways in uh, in my house, and even though I had really short legs, uh, I was able to like climb up the wall. And so we used to like climb the like spider, like climb the wall, oh. and uh, and like come. It didn't last very long, but it was cool to like watch people around underneath us. Dude, that's so bold. That was my favorite place nice. to hide. Mine was classic behind the couch. Didn't think mm -hmm. about it, just went behind the Every couch. Every time. Yeah. So answer <laughs> this question in the chat below. Hey, let's sing together.
for students. My name is Ashley and I'm going to be praying over feelings of loneliness and isolation. So God, right now, I lift up our amazing North Point students. I pray specifically for those who are feeling as though they're alone, who feel 
isolated or that they don't have anybody to talk to or who understands what they're going through. Lord, I pray against any lies from Satan that are telling them that they really are truly alone, that there's nobody who understands God because I know that you are here, that you love us. And so I pray that ultimately you will be the one who fills any void that we are experiencing in our heart. And also, Lord, that you will give us boldness to reach out, to be the one to take initiative and send that text message or to join a small group when it feels vulnerable and scary or makes us feel weak. And Lord, that you will draw us into community with other believers. So Lord, again, I pray specifically for those who are feeling lonely, that you will be the one that fills that void and that also you will give us the courage and boldness to reach out and to pursue community. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Ashley, for that prayer. Hey, every week a college student is going to lead us in prayer. So if there's something that you think we should pray about, let us know in the comments, DM us, send us a message, message email, let us know. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And uh, right now we uh, we're gonna we played some uh, some games. You can have fun earlier, right? It was a yeah. fierce competition. It was a sorts. fierce competition and uh, and big challenge. Right now uh, we had a, a few um, of our students try to uh, do this ice bucket challenge. Try to get as many starbursts as they could out of the bucket, and it was the uh, ice was, bucket. Out of the ice frozen bucket. starbursts. Frozen. Starburst. Fun. Yeah. So check this out. It's pretty great. Oh, oh hey, hey, before you check it out, uh, I would just say this. Uh, we're going to be doing these challenges every yeah. week. Yeah. And so if you, if this looks like fun to you or you like prizes, like winning prizes, then uh, man, let us know. Uh, let us know on Instagram. Let us know here in the chat uh, that you want to be a part of it. And we'll come to your place and, uh, and uh, let you participate. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so, uh, let let Colin know actually because yeah. uh, he's responsible. <laughs> so, uh, alright, kick it to him. Yeah, let's see it. Side, Hunter, I'll be on this side cheering her on. Let's go! No, not yet. Not yet. Oh no, this is not it gonna is go crazy. well. <laughs> All right, David, you're blessed. <laughs> Count of three. You have to psych yourself up. This three. Is not okay. Got it. Three, two, one. Yeah. Ah! <laughs>
How, how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, uh, I recommend not to do this for fun. <laughs> and I can't feel my like I feel I can't feel my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>
Uh, and I, I just have the maturity and the judgment not to speak them out loud. But maturity or judgment, it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't erase a sinful attitude. And, and so often we, we have this tendency to think that, that our life is good enough. But, but what the gospel reveals to us is that, that we are broken and apart from the person of Jesus, the light of Christ shining into our life, we don't realize how much. And so the cross reveals what's in my heart, uh, but it also reveals how sin breaks my life. Uh, it, it's easy to think uh, that, that I'm not hurting anyone, uh, that, that what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling doesn't affect other people. And, and, yet, and yet so often uh, we cannot see the ways that our attitudes, that our thoughts, uh, that those, those hidden things affect the people in our life. In fact, the, the Bible it goes on to say in, in 1 John that, that if we, if we uh, um, walk in, in darkness, uh, the truth is not in us. Uh, that, that, uh, that ultimately, if we're not walking in the light, that we, we are divided from the people around us. In, in, in other words, it's saying that, that the sin that's in our heart, it breaks our relationships. And, and not just our relationships with our family members or our friends, but our relationships with God. And the, the gospel has a way of shining a light on that truth. It, it begins to reveal how serious the sin in our hearts is, how much damage it can actually do. Because you picture Jesus hanging on a cross, right? The original x-ray of the human soul. And, and, and you, you have a crowd of people yelling, crucify him, crucify him. And, and Jesus says to that crowd, he says, uh, he says to his heavenly father about that crowd, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And, and so often we, we don't have any idea how much damage the simple thought, the simple attitude, that simple behavior that we, we do in secret is having on the people in our lives. I mean, we don't know how it breaks the heart of God until we look at the cross and allow it to shine a light through our life. Now, uh, the good news is this. I think a lot of the times uh, we hide from the gospel. We hide from the truth of God's word. We hide from what uh, God says about sin and brokenness because we're afraid that, that if we reveal it, if we come clean, if we get honest, that, uh, that people will reject us and that no one will be able to help us. But the Bible says that when we walk in the light as he is in the light, he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. That when we confess with our lips, when we confess our sin before God and before other believers, that God is faithful and just to forgive us and to reconcile us to one another. In other words, to, to fix our relationships with other believers. And, and, and so the cross, it shines a light in, in, in this incredible way. The cross begins to reveal why I don't have to hide. You don't have to hide from your sin because Jesus already died for it. You don't have to hide from the sinful thoughts and attitudes because you know that in Christ all is forgiven. And, and when you're honest with other believers who, who are living in the light and walking in the light, they know the same thing to be true. That, that at the cross, Jesus took, man, my past, my present, and my future mistakes, my past, my present, and my future sinful thoughts and attitudes, and he buried them uh, with him. And the Bible says that, that he, he raised to life three days later, and that's the resurrection we share in. We have a new life in Christ. Our life is hidden in him. Uh, I love how, how 1 John says it. He says, if, if you walk in the light as he is in the light, uh, then he, uh, he's faithful to cleanse you from all of your sin. Uh, in other words, he's, he, he's there to, to heal the broken things that get revealed. Uh, you think about it this way. Uh, if, if the doctor is showing you what's on the x-ray, if the doctor's showing you what's broken and what's missing and where the cracks are, then, then you're with the person who can cut away the scar tissue. You're with the person who can remove the shrapnel. You're with the person who can stitch up the wound so you can heal. And the same is true of Jesus when we allow him to shine a light on our life, he is there with us saying, I, I am the great physician, I am the healer, and I have a purpose for you after uh, it's done. So uh, it's, it's, my, uh, it's my desire for you that you would not hide not because you feel like people are gonna, gonna reject you, because you're afraid that no one will forgive you, or because you just think that there's no way beyond it. 
Because the truth is, is that Jesus is in every moment of confession. And Jesus is in every moment of truth telling. Why? Because in him there is no darkness, he is light. He is walking with you in truth telling. He is walking with you in your honesty. And, and, and so, man, as, as you engage this week, my challenge to you is this. Be honest with believers about where you're struggling. Uh, ask them to pray for you and allow God's word to define your life, not your brokenness. All right, man. Well, well thanks, Ben, uh, for that, uh, that challenging message. Uh, and encouraging message just to uh, hold our lives up to uh, the light of Jesus. And uh, man, I hope that we that we choose to do that this week uh, and, uh, and as we walk with Jesus. So. Yeah, so now a set of questions is going to come up on the screen. And if you're not already connected with a group of people or friends or over Zoom, whatever it might be, connect with people, discuss them. You can discuss them in the chat. We'll be in the chat. Or um, you can actually screenshot it and reflect on it during your devotion time. Amazing, amazing. Hey, we want to just end by praying for you that God would just move in your life this week. Uh, so would you close with us in prayer? Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to know you, to be able to walk with you in the light, uh, to let uh, what you've done for us on the cross inform our lives. And I pray for every student, every junior higher, every high schooler, every college student, uh, gathering with us, that you would you would bless them with the courage uh, to be honest, to be authentic people, that they might find healing and restoration and purpose in walking with you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.